We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome. Coming to you live from the studios of L.A. Talk Live in sunny Los Angeles, California. This is Elena's Beauty Talk and more, and I'm your host, Elena. We're here to talk about beauty and more in all its expressions every Wednesday at noon Pacific time. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is Alina's Beauty Talk and more on L.A. Talk Live. We're more than just talk. Meet Betsy. She is 29 years old and lives in Los Angeles. Recently, Betsy sent her father an email that brought tears of joy to his eyes. You see, Betsy suffers from autism, and this was the first email she had ever sent to anyone. Betsy is just one of the many students at Empower Tech, a nonprofit organization in Los Angeles that trains persons living with a broad range of physical, cognitive, and developmental disabilities how to use computers to do the things that so many of us take for granted. Email, online banking, research, and entertainment. Through modern assistive technology, instructors at Empower Tech help hundreds of people just like Betsy every year. They teach them the basic skills required to function independently in 21st century society. But with new state budget cuts, all of that could change. Empower Tech needs your help if it's going to continue making a difference here in our community. Please visit www.empowertech.org. That's www.empowertech.org to make a secure, tax-deductible contribution and to learn more about this important community resource and to see for yourself what some of the amazing students and teachers do on a daily basis. Betsy and the 1.8 million people living with disabilities in Los Angeles County, thank you for caring enough to show your support. Beauty Magnets, Cleopatra's Beauty Ritual. Beauty Magnets are a modern-day spin on an ancient beauty secret. Beauty Magnets are a unique system of relaxation, revitalization, and renewal. Face and spirit reach a new level of balanced beauty, making you look and feel radiant. Tiny charged magnets increase circulation, promoting the look and feel of a natural lift. Face and spirit reach a new level of balanced beauty. De-stress your face with magnet therapy. Beauty Magnets of Beverly Hills, Hollywood. Available at www.beautymagnets.com. That's www.beautymagnets.com. Beauty Magnets, Cleopatra's Beauty Ritual, and proud sponsors of Elena's Beauty Talk. Lena's Beauty Talk and more. Today we're going to have a really inspiring show. You just heard, um, I, it's what do I call that? It's a PSA on Empower Tech. They actually are in our same building just across the hall from us. I just want to get it kind of set up to get this show going. And I have been so impressed with all the people with disabilities that come in and out of Empower Tech. How polite, how smart, how intelligent all of them are. And at first, I couldn't like... Well, you know, a lot of the students and people that work there are blind. And I'm like, okay, why did they get an office on the second floor? I'm like, why wouldn't they get an office on the first floor? It would make it a lot easier. Um, but we do have an elevator in the building. It's only a two-story floor. But none of them take the elevator. They all go up and down 
the stairs. It is amazing. They act like they have absolutely no disabilities. Everybody says hi. They're laughing. They're friendly. Um, you know, they have cabs that come in. They all they work. They get picked up by cabs. They're dressed impeccable, which we're going to talk about during the show because I have two amazing guests. One is sitting next to me. Her name is Sheila Walker, and she is blind. She's been blind since birth. Um, I read her bio last night, um, and it was amazing. So welcome, Joan. Come up to the microphone and say hi. Hi. Okay, you don't have to be scared. <laughs> she has an amazing story. She's going to do a lot of talking through the show. We'll get her warmed up. And ready to go. And sitting next to, to her, I just met him today. He is one of the, I, I'll start with teacher and then you can sure. go in and tell everybody what you do. But Absolutely. his name is Chris Chris. Did Chris, I? Chris Craze. Chris Craze. I got it close. <laughs> Chris okay, cross. Chris has to come up. Chris Chris. Chris. However you want to say it. It's all okay. Good. Um, I'm going to start with you. So until sure. we can get Sheila warmed up here. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Tell them how long you've worked with Empower Tech, sure. how it's really impacted your life, and what you do over there, and what Empower Tech does, because you work with everybody there on a daily basis. That's right. And tell that story you told in the green room while oh, we were okay. writing. All right. I no want to get that off the out at the beginning because that yeah. will set absolutely the whole show. Yeah. Um, so I've been working with Empower Tech for a few years. Uh, I've been working with people with disabilities for, for quite a while. I actually owned my own company uh, back in Wisconsin where I moved here from. So um, in Wisconsin, I, I did uh, lots of assessments where I would meet with people with disabilities and actually assess their needs for technology. So come up with a solution that would best fit um, who they are and uh, what they're trying to do in life. And so coming from Wisconsin, moving here and joining EmpowerTech was such a, a natural fit because EmpowerTech has been doing this for over 20 years in Los Angeles. And uh, EmpowerTech actually uh, works with all of LA County. And uh, so we bring in students and we teach them how to do everything from you know the very basics, like this is a keyboard, this is how you use a keyboard to um, some fairly advanced stuff, like uh, I have one client who is actually doing some music production. And so he has Pro Tools and he does some, you know, mixing. And Are editing. their keyboards different than the regular keyboards? So in general, no. Uh, however, if you have somebody with a specific disability that limits their, their hand movement, like say they have one arm or one hand, then yes, there are special keyboards that can accommodate them. So uh, my specific program at Empower Tech is the Blind and Low Vision program. Uh, and so in our program, my students only use the keyboard. They don't use a mouse. But Empower Tech works with students with lots of disabilities, including cognitive disabilities and physical disabilities. So in those cases, uh, the, in the other program, for example, um, it's called Trade. And in the trade program, all those students have a cognitive disability of some sort, from minor to somewhat severe. And so they would all use a normal keyboard and a normal mouse and are simply being instructed on how to use a computer considering their disability. Yeah, because it's very important for those people to learn how to use a computer because our whole world revolves around a computer That's now. Right. That's right. Yeah, exactly. So the story I shared with you, since you, you built it up so nicely, thank you. <laughs> oh, I thought it was really fitting for this show. No, it's I, I have a few of them, actually. But, well, uh, we'll start with that one, and absolutely. we'll do all of them, because they are very fitting. Sure, sure. So a, a student just today, um, um, actually his name is Robert, he came in and he, uh, he said, you know, I'm having trouble getting my internet working at home. And I said, okay. So uh, let's talk through that. He had brought in his router from home, his wireless router. And so he has uh, a person who supplied his laptop that he got on the phone while he's at home. And oh, then, okay. You want to, let's just say he's blind, yeah. right? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah let's, blind. Let's, 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 yeah, let's, let's set it up. Okay. <laughs> not, okay. Since he, you work mostly with the blind, I hear uh, at the studio when I'm here on Wednesday, I see mostly just. The, so I'm kind of gearing sure. this show to the blind. That's fine. That's beautiful. He, okay. All right. So 
he's blind. He's calling Verizon. And on the other line of his phone, he has his person who set up his laptop. So the three of them are trying to coordinate remotely, right? He's the only one at his house trying to configure his internet. And it just ended in frustration for all of them. So he comes in today. He says, you know, Chris, help me out. How do we get this set up and working? So I said, well, you know, when you're talking to Verizon, how did it go? You know, like what what were they trying? And he said, well, I started the conversation by saying, hi, you know, uh, I'm blind and I'm trying to get this set up. And they said, OK, what are the lights doing on your modem? <laughs> well, <laughs> part of being blind, you see, is I can't see. So <laughs> I don't know what the lights are doing, you know. Don't even know if the lights are on. Okay, sir. No problem. Please read to me the serial number off the device. <laughs> okay, you know, so you, you get the idea. I, it was a challenge, and and I don't I don't understand it, but it's probably because I've been in the industry for a while. But you know, people who aren't around people with disabilities tend to forget. I mean, this is kind of an extreme example, but to a minor or a greater degree, they tend to forget the impact that that has on that individual. And that was the case in the story. So he brought his router in, and, and we got him on his way. We got it set up. Thank today, God so. for Empower Tech. <laughs> yeah. And Chris, uh, you know, somebody should get a hold of Verizon and report that story to them. I think it's important for them to know. Yeah, it's a good point. You know, maybe Absolutely. you should call somebody at Verizon today and, and tell that story. Yeah, I should. Because if it's happening to him, it's probably happened before, and it's not been corrected. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great point. Okay, Sheila, now that he's talked. No, I was just going to Okay, come up to the mic. Oh, I was going I was just going to say that AT&T is a whole different experience with them because apparently they work a lot with people with disabilities. Hmm. Because um I remember when I got my um modem and I informed them that I couldn't see, so they send people they send a, a technician over to hook it up and do all the, the footwork and didn't even charge me for it. And normally they do. So, so this I, is good PR for AT&T. Sure no, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's and, okay. And they answer, just, they answer all of my questions, you know. Mm -hmm. And the lady was just so nice. She just went through it as many times, the many times I asked. I mean, I'm like, well, I don't understand this. She said, well, let's do it like this. And she was very helpful. And I thought that was very, um, I thought that was, that was different compared to a lot of um, people I've, I've been on the phone with, business people, it's just a lot of people that don't understand when you say you're blind. Sure. And um, and they still ask you sighted questions. Hmm. And you've been blind since birth. Yeah, I've been blind since birth. Okay. Well, I'm not going to ask your age. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, my parents didn't know I was blind until I was like two. I, I, I navigated so well. <laughs> yeah, know? and I read in your bio that your aunt took you to yeah. the doctor. My aunt just took it upon herself and just packed me. And my, I had a, a rabbit I called Comfort. And she just wrapped us up and took us to the ophthalmologist. And um, they did surgery after surgery. I had like, oh, God, between three and a half until about six. I had about several different surgeries, which none work. So, you know, um, and then they, they declared me as legally blind. Now, do you have any sight or are you completely legally blind? I'm completely, I have no sight. No, no sight. light perception, none of that. Okay. And you're so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You know, after reading your bio, I really didn't... Um, couldn't figure out like how old you were where <laughs> you know because you also have had three beautiful children yes yes I my youngest son well my only son he just turned 18 yesterday and you have two daughters I have two daughters <laughs> and five grandkids oh okay grand okay I guess this bio was written before your grandkids came <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to stick them in there, but I, I guess that would, that would show my age. <laughs> you haven't aged a day. Oh. <laughs> and I'm in the beauty business. <laughs> okay. Um, so, oh, I guess I don't have to ask you another question. That means we're going to a break. <laughs> You're safe. <laughs> so, 
Uh, Sheila, Chris and I are going to take a break. We're going to come back because we have so many amazing stories and talking to do for this whole show because it really has inspired me and I'm hoping that it will inspire you. And even if you know somebody that is, you know, as you know, needs help in any area that is disabled in any way. Empower Tech is a wonderful organization. And, you know, they'll, they'll help you completely. So I want people to be aware of this. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about Empower Tech, our stories, and anything else we can think of. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is Alina's Beauty Talk and more on LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk. Tuning in to LA Talk Live, reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we're more than just talk. Stay tuned. Meet Betsy. She is 29 years old and lives in Los Angeles. Recently, Betsy sent her father an email that brought tears of joy to his eyes. You see, Betsy suffers from autism, and this was the first email she had ever sent to anyone. Betsy is just one of the many students at Empower Tech, a nonprofit organization in Los Angeles that trains persons living with a broad range of physical, cognitive, and developmental disabilities how to use computers to do the things that so many of us take for granted. Email online banking, research, and entertainment. Through modern assistive technology, instructors at EmpowerTech help hundreds of people just like Betsy every year. They teach them the basic skills required to function independently in 21st century society. But with new state budget cuts, all of that could change. EmpowerTech needs your help if it's going to continue making a difference here in our community. Please visit www.empowertech.org. That's www.empowertech.org to make a secure, tax-deductible contribution and to learn more about this important community resource and to see for yourself what some of the amazing students and teachers do on a daily basis. Betsy and the 1.8 million people living with disabilities in Los Angeles County, thank you for caring enough to show your support. Mountain Valley Spring Water, since 1871, has been bottled at the source in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Twice named the best tasting water in the world, Mountain Valley Water is naturally alkaline and bottled in glass, providing the perfect blend of nature's minerals, giving you a crisp, clean taste. To start your home and office delivery in Southern California, call us at 1-800-499-9982 or visit us online at www.mountainvalleywaterla.com. New customers will receive their first two five-gallon bottles free. Mountain Valley Water, the official sponsor of Here's to Your Health with Josh Lane on LA Talk Live. Walk, run, climb, play. Solgar Number 7 can help. Feel the difference for yourself. Solgar Number 7 actually shows improvement in joint comfort within seven days. Now you can start to get back on track fast and pursue the activities you love. Solgar Number 7 is a breakthrough in joint care with no glucosamine and no chondroitin. The advanced bioactives in Solgar Number 7 help to increase flexibility, mobility, range of motion and actually shows improvement within just seven days. One capsule once a day is all you need. When stiff joints occasionally say no, Solgar number seven says yes. Visit Solgar.com and learn more about Solgar number seven today. That's www.solgar.com www.solgar.com solgar.com 
Solgar Number 7, official sponsors of Here's to Your Help with Josh Lane and L.A. Talk Live. Welcome back to Lena's Beauty Talk and more. I'm here with Sheila and Chris from Empower Tech and this beautiful music that Richard's playing. We found out Sheila likes jazz, so we're trying to make her very comfortable in the studio. Well, it's working. <laughs> Good. Uh, we're going to talk all about Empower Tech because it's such an amazing organization. Um, Let's talk about, okay, when I walk in to Empower Tech, because I've had to walk in a couple of times, I'll tell a funny story, because we always lose our restroom keys here, so <laughs> I just have to go next door to borrow a key, and when you walk in to that door, since I've never really been involved with blind people or people with disabilities, um, it's really kind of an overwhelming, warm feeling i mean you walk in this door that self opens which i can under you know which is very important mm -hmm. and then you just walk in there's a beautiful reception area and then over to your left hand side there's this huge room with all this amazing uh computer equipment and all these people on computers i would say what about 25 yep in the first room in the first room oh there's more rooms That's that right. i haven't gone through the whole that's right Oh, you come up to the mic. All okay. Right. Um, and it's this huge room and everybody's just so engrossed. And, you know, there's a couple instructors walking around helping everybody. It's just such an amazing feeling in that room. Yeah. The decor, too, I think, kind of uh, sets it apart. Well, this building's amazing. That it's a great in. building. You're right. I mean, they call it Paradise for a reason, right? <laughs> yeah. It's called Whole the place. Paradise Building. Our building is amazing. Yeah, and then um, Joan, the executive director, you know, took who was a, supposed to be here today, but she yeah, took ill. Yeah, yeah. She but took, I'll get her back on. She's not off the hook. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just wanted to mention too uh, that people can check us out at empowertech.org if they want to see a little bit more of what we do while we're here. Yeah, they have a fabulous website, everybody. Yeah, empowertech.org. So Spell that just absolutely. in case because people are at work, so sometimes they're just listening with half an ear. Yeah, it's <laughs> empower as in empowering people, and that's E-M-P-O-W-E-R, tech, T-E-C-H, as in the technology we use. And just give out the phone number if you know it off the sure. top of your head. Sure, 310. Okay, Sheila, you go. 310. <laughs> <laughs> Three three eight one five nine seven. See, Again. I couldn't get you on the mic now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more time. Two more times. Again. Go ahead. Three ten. Three three eight one five nine seven. One more. Three ten. Three three eight one five nine seven. Okay, you're hired. <laughs> That's a good radio voice right you there. You got a great voice. Uh -huh. We got to get you back on, in that voice on the mic. You're hired. You can <laughs> come on my show anytime with that voice. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit more what goes on in the big room. Sure. Yeah, we have two labs. So that first one you were talking about, that's where our trade class meets. That's for individuals with cognitive disabilities. Say what cognitive is, just sure. in case people don't understand that word. Yeah, it's really any kind of uh, mental disability that you know involves uh, cognitive processes. Like motor skills and... Yeah, motor skills for sure, but um, you know that's more of a physical disability. But okay. this would would this would include um, like the inability to um, speak in full sentences or the inability to to comprehend math, you know, at uh, any type of a degree. Um, so cognitive disabilities refer to anything having to do with the mind. Okay. And its ability to process. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then what? Then I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know there are other rooms in the back. I yeah, mean, it's a big. It's more. a big space. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. We we moved here last year, and uh, it's just such a great a great space. So that first room is uh, for the trade program, and then we have another lab, and that's where Sheila and I spend our time the, in the blind and low vision lab. 
that has about 15 computers. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it, again, it's just another great space. Um, the separation of the, the labs was important for EmpowerTech mm -hmm. because when we are working with individuals who are blind or have low vision, their computers need to speak. And while <clears throat> most of our students can wear headphones, sometimes, uh, you know, as I'm teaching them or as I'm trying to do group demonstrations, it's important that everybody can hear that computer talking. And that would be distracting for somebody who has a cognitive disability, such as autism, you know, and they might be easily distracted. So um, it was very important for us to separate those two labs. And we have a window in between them. So really, our space is ideal for what we do. Yes. It's really great. Okay, Sheila. Let's come back to you and talk about when you came to Empower Tech and how much it has helped you in your life and what you're doing now and anything else you want to talk and say about Empower Tech. Well, I came to Empower Tech. Well, first of all, Keith um, told me about Empower Tech. We was in Access one day. Um, it was, uh, we was in Access, Access one day, and he was talking about, he was actually was talking What about, is Access? Is that the access, transportation? Yeah, it's, it's a public transportation. Okay, that's what I thought you yeah. were talking about. And he was talking to the driver, and I'm like, what is this Access thing you speak, I mean, I mean, um, in PowerTech you speaking of, you know, because he was just, he didn't say what it was or anything, or I just came in on the tail end of it. I'm not sure. But, and he says, well, you know, it's a school and it, they teach uh, um, people with disabilities. You know, they have open labs on Wednesdays between three and this. I'm like, okay, well, how much is it going to cost? You know, because I'm thinking everything's going to cost. And he says, no, this is free, you know, come in. So it took me several months to actually go because I'm, I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be one of those, those, Things where you go in and they're going to give you a tape and, you know, and expect you to follow along with the tape. But I finally decided to go in and I went into the room. There was there was students um, on a computer and everybody was talking to each other and doing the computer. And then Chris here, he, you know, he's very open and welcoming you know and very oh, thanks, always Sheila. smiling he told me to say this <laughs> you later. you'll get her back huh yeah. <laughs> so you know <laughs> no but um when i first came to empower tech i didn't know much about the computer actually i didn't know nothing about the computer yes i've seen a keyboard before but i really didn't have no computer skills whatsoever so I learned the basic things like, you know, how to turn on JAWS and how to um, get to my windows, the menu bar, things like that. And I said to myself the first week, I'm like, oh, my God, this I'm never going to learn this stuff. I'm never going to learn this. No way am I going to learn this. And of course, Chris always, oh, Sheila, you'll get it. You know, it's foreign right now. It's, it, everybody goes through this. And mm -hmm. I'm saying to myself, oh, but you can see, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can just look at the screen, you know, it's just not fair. But I, I came back because I'm that type of person. I just don't give up. I'm glutton for punishment. <laughs> so <laughs> I came back and I came back and I learned um, I can cut and paste. I can take documents and cut and paste them and move them to different folders out through the computer. I can go on Amazon and actually order stuff actually order stuff and succeed in uh -huh. ordering it, finding it, researching it. Tell them about uh, today working with the books and your other device. Oh, yeah. I was having a problem with downloading um, from the NSL books. What's NSL? It's the library for, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you got to tell us what it is, Chris. Yes, the NSL is, I have no idea. <laughs> no, no, but it is. It's, no, it's, it's, the, it's where she gets her books for, um, like, from the library. It's, it's okay. the li it's, As if she's going to the library. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, from, it's part of the Braille Institute okay. library with audio books. And so, um, so I was having a problem with downloading um, books onto my VictorStream, which is a, a device. I, wish, I, I have it, but I don't have it with me in my hand. Mm -hmm. And we it, can show it later. We'll okay. get it at yeah, break. Yeah, good it, idea. It's a, it's a device, and it, you can store books on it. You can store books, notes, music, um, 
um, text. It's just a wonderful device. And I was trying to download a book, you know, uh, and I was having problems. So I decided, well, I came to Chris, of course. You know, we all come to Chris because he's <laughs> such a super guy. And so, uh, <laughs> and I said, Chris, I was at home. I stayed up practically all night trying to do this. And I'm frustrated. And he's just, okay, Sheila, did you meditate <laughs> this morning? I'm I like, ask that, yes, I? I said yes, Chris. <laughs> I say, yes, Chris, I meditate, but I still don't know how to download this book. <laughs> so he said, okay, well, you know, um, go to the website and um, sign in, do all what you need to do. And then when I'm finished over here, we'll, we'll do it together. Mm-hmm. Well, we wind up doing it together. And I honestly, Chris, I still having problems, but <laughs> but at least I know how to, I know the, he, he give me the tools to get to the point where I can actually get to the point where I can actually download and find a book within my download, um, uh, what did you call it? The download folder. Yeah, the download folder because mm-hmm. I didn't know where my download folder was. I mean, I was like, he said, go to the download folder. I'm like, I'm sitting there like, okay, now where is that at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be doing the same thing and I can see. <laughs> where, where's the download <laughs> folder? But um, he says, Sheila, Use the tools that you, that we taught you here, and you'll find it. So I'm like, okay. Right. So finish the story. So I used the tools, and I found my download folders. Thank God. And now I can download books. Yay! Woo-hoo. All right. On that note, that's a good place to take a break. Uh, so when we come back, Sheila, Chris. And I are still going to talk more about Empower Tech. Give out the website one more time sure. before we go to break. EmpowerTech.org. That's E M P O W E R. Tech, T E C H dot org. And Sheila, give out the phone number 310 338 1597. Okay, we are nice. going to take a break. We're going to, well, let's pull out that piece of equipment you were talking about. Anything yeah. else the you big, have in your bags that we can thing. show? Yeah. Okay. So we will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. This is Alina's Beauty Talk and more on LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk. We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and hosts of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Beauty Magnets, Cleopatra's Beauty Ritual. Beauty magnets are a modern-day spin on an ancient beauty secret. Beauty magnets are a unique system of relaxation, revitalization, and renewal. Face and spirit reach a new level of balanced beauty, making you look and feel radiant. Tiny charged magnets increase circulation, promoting the look and feel of a natural lift. Face and spirit reach a new level of balanced beauty. De-stress your face with magnet therapy. Beauty Magnets of Beverly Hills, Hollywood. Available at www.beautymagnets.com. That's www.beautymagnets.com. Beauty Magnets, Cleopatra's Beauty Ritual, and proud sponsors of Elena's Beauty Talk. at the source since 1871, Mountain Valley Water is the deepest operating spring in America. This naturally alkaline water with a perfect blend of minerals has a crisp, clean taste that's twice been named best tasting water in the world. Mountain Valley Water has been served in the White House for 13 presidents, but it's also served kings, including Elvis Presley, 
whose only requirement on tour was two six packs of Mountain Valley water. Delivered to your home or office in glass bottles, Mountain Valley water will give new customers in Southern California their first two five gallon bottles free. For more information, call 1 800 499 9982 or visit us online at www.mountainvalleywaterla.com. Mountain Valley Water is the official sponsor of Here's to Your Health with Josh Lane on LA Talk Live. Journey Sisters is an organization that embodies and captivates women from all walks of life. Our membership includes 44 women that are constantly growing in the areas of personal development and community involvement. Monthly, we offer free leadership classes at McCade's Restaurant. Journey aims to inform women in the areas of heart disease and HIV and AIDS. Experience the journey now by logging into www.journeymosaicinc.com. Dot com. Toll free 888-906-5519. Journey with no excuses. Hey, this is Richard Carr, General Manager for LA Talk Live and host of the New Entrepreneurs Weekly Summit. I wanted to take a moment out to welcome one of my newest sponsors, and that is Sensational Soaps. Sensational soaps are handmade with all natural ingredients with absolutely no preservatives, no harsh chemicals, and of course, no animal testing. Your body will look and feel silky, smooth, moisturized, and completely revived. Do you suffer from dry, ashy skin? Then layer your skin with their luxurious blend of oils and shea butters specially formulated to revive dry, dull skin. Sensational soaps also offers a full line of bath and body products, including luxurious bath salts and body scrubs, massage oils and lip balms, even romantic gift sets and custom gift baskets for your lover or significant other. For more information or to place an order, visit them at www.sensationalsoaps.biz. That's www.sensationalsoaps.biz. Sensational Soaps. Pamper yourself and indulge your senses. Sensationalsoaps.biz. Proud sponsors of LA Talk Live and the New Entrepreneurs Weekly Summit. Welcome back to Elena's Beauty Talk and more. Okay, that music just woke us right up from that break. (laughs) Okay, we're going to be dancing on the end of our chairs here. Oh, okay. So we're back, Chris, Sheila, and I. Uh, Chris and Sheila are from Empower Tech, which is just across the hall from our studio. And it's just, to me, been one of the most amazing experiences meeting all these people with disabilities and how they function so incredible on a day-to-day life. You just think, I mean, we think we have problems and they have the usual problems and then... You know, they have a little, mm-hmm. but they never it's act like they have no problems. I, I, and they don't see it that way. I yeah, mean, that's it's really just we not see the it that way. Exactly. The human exactly. person, we sighted that's right. per people, you know, see that they have, does it, they don't figure it that way. Not at all. No. And Which has been amazing to me. Yeah, that's one of my thrills, too, in teaching at Empower Tech is uh, the constant perspective reminder, you know, that... Um, it might be tough, you know, to get through a day for for lots of reasons, but um, to see somebody like Sheila, you know, who has accomplished so much. I mean, there's some artwork behind me here. If you can see it on the webcams um, that she's done, you know, and 
And then to watch her tackle something new, like the computers that were teaching her at Empower Tech and, and how she just takes that in and just per- perseveres through it. I mean, this is uh, a lot of inspirational Before stuff. Before we get to the computers, are these classes free? Um, um, just kind of go over so that people have an idea if yeah. there's a fee involved, how they would come to empower tech, you know, just that's right. We haven't really covered that, so I, I think we should <coughs> do that now and then go into the computers. They are not free. Okay. Uh, our uh, we work with the D- Department of Rehabilitation, um, so it's a government agency specifically designed to get people with disabilities back to work. So they hire us to teach their clients. And that's who um, a majority of our clients are. We do have some private pay clients who pay us, you know, per hour or for individual training or can come into our class for private pay. But most of our clients are through the Department of Rehabilitation in the in the blind and low vision class. We also work with other government agencies who um, are sending us students who have the cognitive disabilities and some of the other physical disabilities that are part of our trade program and some other programs that we do at EmpowerTech. Okay, I think that's important to get mm-hmm. out because we really, I don't want to give out misinformation. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I appreciate that. And uh, so our students are coming in under these government programs, um, but uh, they are not free. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... Um, but all that information is on the website. That's right, empowertech.org. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because I only know kind of the fun part of Empower Tech. I don't <laughs> sure. know the, the behind the scenes the working, business. the business end <laughs> of the Empower Tech. So I don't want to give out any misleading information yeah. to anybody. So <laughs> those of you that want more, as we've been saying throughout this show, Empower Tech. Dot org. That's right. And everything's there. Their, their website's stunning. I've been on mm. it to read before the show. <laughs> Even though I always read the guests, but I never use it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get so engrossed in the conversations. Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. During the break, Sheila brought out her computer. And it it's a really pretty computer. Um, what did you want her to show or what do you want to share about your computer with our listeners well right now it's open to um, Microsoft um, Word so I was just I was just going to just type in a few things and just have Jaws read it this is so great because most of the time I tell my friends that I teach people who are blind how to use computers they ask how in the world (laughs) would somebody who can't see use a computer so I think it's gonna be great for your listeners to hear what it's like to use a computer and can you kind of walk us through it, Chris, or does Sheila should, should walk us through She's it? She's very capable. Okay, Sheila, you're on. Well, basically what I, what I did, I went to the start menu and I, well, actually I went to desktop. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. I went to desktop and I pushed control W, which is, which opened up my Microsoft Word. So it's on the screen right now. So I'm about to just type a few things just to, so you can hear, let you see what I I do. T. Oh, 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 oh. Can you hear it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna move your mic just a little. Okay. But it sounds good so far. Okay. I. There you go. Space. A. R. E. Space. I. N. Space. L. O. V. E. So space. Sheila, that's great. Let them hear what it's like to open a menu, like just to open up your ribbon and go through the menu, so they hear okay. what it's like to navigate through there. Okay. Um, and you learned all this in Empower Tech, right? I learned all this in Empower Tech. So I'm gonna use. The, I'm gonna open. <clears throat> you talk a little louder since your mic is kind of <clears throat> facing. Okay. Down. I'm going to open go. um, the upper home ribbon, which which I'm gonna use Alt to do so. Menu bar ribbon home tab one of seven. And now I'm going to um, tab actually just through <clears throat> the different tab, options. Lower ribbon. Paste split button unavailable. Tab. Cut button unavailable. Tab. Copy button unavailable. Tab. Format painter button. F- tab. Office clipboard dot dot right. dot button menu. Yeah, so. <coughs> excuse okay, me. you you talk a little sure. bit about yeah, it. Yeah, so this is how she would navigate to find all of the functions that we use. I'm, I'm sure most of you recognize, uh, if you're familiar with Microsoft Word, the ribbon. So she's up in the ribbon right now just tabbing through all those items that you would normally click on with a mouse. 
Yeah. You look like you're looking at the screen. You're having a grand old time here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but I didn't know any of this. I mean, I didn't even know. How long ago did you start to learn the computer at Empower Tech? I would say by... I when did you start coming <clears throat> to Empower I started, Tech? I started in November. Of what year? Of last year. Okay, so 2000. Yeah. Yes. 11. Of, of last year. And I would say by January, I was able to create a document. I was I was able to um, do spell. I was able to do a create not only create a document, but use my spell check to check the errors and all that. I, I didn't even think I was going to ever be able to do something like that. Be, you know, being a non-sided person. All, all and as well, I didn't think I was gonna ever be able to use Jaws because I've heard Jaws. I've heard other people use Jaws, and it mm. just seems so difficult. It's like he say Jaws says so much. You, you know, one of my favorite stories with Sheila was uh, <laughs> <laughs> when uh, we first did our uh, group project with the class, and uh, we wrote a letter to Governor Brown. So we we had as a group we had to go out to the internet, find his email address compose a letter um, making an ask for more money set aside for people with disabilities for some specific projects that the students had come up with. So we typed the letter as a group, but um, Sheila was the one most advanced in editing a document. So we um, decided to give it to her to edit, right? So she went through and she's probably spent a couple weeks editing and you know hearing every letter of every word mm -hmm. and she got done and just the look on her face she was so proud <laughs> you know, like I, I really was because you know remember Chris when I told uh -huh. you I said well um me you want me to edit this and you was like Sheila you can do it uh -huh. and I said okay and the first half an hour of the, class, of the class I was just reading and rereading and reading but I wasn't editing but the next day I came in I said well, you know what I'm gonna do this because uh -huh. I have to do this because my goal for coming to Empower Tech is to learn the computers because I do want to start an on on um, online gallery and I need the technology and the tools that Empower Tech has given me so far to be able to make that goal happen. Have you done it yet? I'm n not yet, but you know what? I I found a person who's going to create my web page. Oh, good. And uh, so before I didn't even have that, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I was I was thinking about relying on other people to check because you know do orders and so far. And I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm my goal. You know. So so far, I feel comfortable. In the fact that I I know I can achieve this goal, and I know I will now achieve this goal, and I'm still and don't get me wrong I'm still learning about the computer. Well, I know I think as much as you're always going to learn about oh, computers. Yeah. I have you know I've learned a lot. I I mean I'm I'm so grateful to Empower Tech, and to Chris and Joan and. Keith now, do you go pretty often? Do you come over here? I come here every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Okay. And um, and you've been doing this for over a year now. Yes, yes. So I am so grateful to all of them because, and they're so patient. They're so patient, and believe me, with me, they need to be. And how <laughs> long do you spend when you come here? We come here for two hours, but the hours go by so fast. It's just like, it's incredible. It's like, it's two hours already? And you look like you slept this computer all over the place. <laughs> oh, I, I take it everywhere. <laughs> I take it everywhere I go because my thing is to practice, practice, practice. Yeah. You know, it's to practice. So um, So you spend a lot of hours on the computer. I spend a lot of hours on the computer doing um, assignments and homework that Chris, well, I want you guys to do this. And, and then Chris, you know, like I say, Chris is very patient and he always challenge us that's the good thing about Chris he challenged us even when well okay when I say I don't know if I can do that Chris <laughs> which I say a lot <laughs> I don't listen to that nonsense <laughs> but he challenged us and he says okay Sheila and when I go home I can't wait to open up this computer and you know follow some of these steps that he told me to and then when I follow these steps and it works Leaving it's like news. oh my Print goodness you. this Edit. is great now does your son help you at all my son tries to, and I tell him no, because <laughs> my thing is I want to do it myself. Mm. You know, he's like, Mom, let me just take the mouse and take you over here. No. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But my kids are so proud of me. They 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 think I'm in I'm incredible. And all your I'm, kids, I just want to make sure, are sighted. All my kids are sighted. All of my kids are sighted. And did they help you, you know, as you were growing up? Or did they know that you were a different kind of mom? I'm going to take us off the subject for just a second. Mm -hmm. No, they did. You know, it's amazing with kids. Well, with my kids, it's like, I, people think you have to teach your kids that you're blind. No, they, they know this. I, I remember my oldest daughter, and she was about maybe two, maybe not even two, I don't think. And I dropped my wallet. We was in the house. I dropped my wallet, and, you know, they had music going, and I didn't hear where it fell. So I'm on the floor, and I'm feeling all around. And she's running through there with her little toy, and she just picks up the wallet, you know, and she gives it to me, you know. And I'm, I'm like, well, I've been down here for two minutes, <laughs> you know. So And then as she got older, when she would describe something, like she makes something in school, like a ceramic something, she would just – put it in my hands and she would take take she would put it in my hand and she would describe what it is and the colors and mm. and at this time she's like four and five years old and all of my kids even my grandkids do the same thing they like nana um they'll guide me over to where they want me to be at and tell me where you know if they um pour a drink or something like kool-aid or whatever they say nana okay it's right here in front of you at 12 nana 12 and and this is my grandbaby who's only six years old hmm. yeah i mean i wanted to get some of these human stories out besides just the business end of it i want to integrate it with some of your personal stories because i think it's really important sure you know because <laughs> they think that you can't have families that you're just isolated you know, a lot of people think that because we don't get to be around a lot of people with disabilities. We don't tend to hang in those kind of groups. Sure. I've had people um, say to me, why are you so happy all the time? You're blind. Yeah. I, I'm, I say, well, you know, um, it's a condition, not a handicap. You know, <laughs> and they can't understand why I would be smiling all the time and why I'm always so joyful and stuff because I can't see. And they'll say things like, if I was blind, I would never go out. I would never do this, you know, and you really people say that, but you never really know what you're going to do until it happens. Yeah. Everybody assumes. Mm hmm. I mean, and now you have this beautiful dog that's lying next to you. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't want to bring him up because mm -hmm. he's so, I mean, just lying very peacefully. But has the dog been a big help to you? He's been a lot of help. He's not only company, he's my companion. He's, I call him my sidekick. So <laughs> <laughs> I call him my sidekick. And um, he's been a lot of help. I mean, when we are traveling, He's so good around, you know, pedestrians. He's so good around taking me around strollers and baskets and toys and cracks and sidewalks and just he's just so awesome. And he never lose focus when he's when he's guiding me. You know, no matter what's going on, he might look in that direction, but he always. Focuses. Now, is this the first time you've had a guide dog? No, actually, this is my fifth guide dog. Okay, so you're very familiar with guide oh, yeah. dogs. Yes, guide dogs. Yes. So have they been a big help to you throughout your life? They've been a very big help. Um, I, don't get me wrong. I'm I, I'm very skilled with a cane. Very skilled with a cane. But I prefer a dog. I prefer a dog because a dog is, first of all, they, they're breathing. <laughs> you know, I mean, I like to talk when I'm walking. And it's kind of, you know, it looks kind of odd when you're walking and you've got a cane. <laughs> but, you know, nowadays everybody's talking on their phones or yeah, whatever, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true until they until they go around me and realize I don't have earpiece. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, you know it's bad enough. People think blind people have a lot of other problems other than their vision. So I don't want to. You know, I try to represent every time I'm out and about. You know that we're capable of doing just everything. We're capable of doing everything that you do. The only difference between you and me is that I can't see and you can. But you see differently. Oh yeah. You know That's we have that point. we have that inner sight. We have that inner sight that sighted people just don't they they, they they got it, they just don't use it. So we can see you can you can describe something and within my inner sight I can actually see what you're describing. Even the color. Even the color. Hmm. Yeah, we miss all of that. 
because we just see it. We don't see through it. We don't see the beauty in it. Yeah, it is such a powerful tool. And I tell sighted people all the time, just close your eyes and mm -hmm. just let somebody describe something to you and just really focus on what they're saying and just see it because the picture that you paint it within your inner mind it's just so overwhelming it's it's like you can just feel the colors just bursting it's just it's i mean i can go on and on, and on no about, here we are we're gonna go know. on and on into your artwork because this is a good way yeah. to segment into your beautiful artwork mm -hmm. that is behind us so tell us a little bit about your artwork and tell us a little bit about the gallery you want to set up on online um, well, and anything else you want to mm, say about your artwork? Well, because this was a surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you a know, pleasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I started artwork because I felt when I was growing up, I felt powerless. I felt like there was nothing I had control over. So I decided to get in as I as I grew up. I didn't really start my artwork until I got, I went to the Foundation for the Junior Blind when I moved out to um, California, and. I started and I got into the class by accident because actually I wanted to I wanted to join the the basketball team, but they was all fell out. So they said we're giving you this art class, and I'm thinking, okay, one more thing I can't do. <laughs> so <laughs> so I made a trivet, uh, one of those things you put hot plates and stuff on. So I realized that in art, if I can think of or I can visualize visualize a certain thing, I can actually make it happen in my artwork. Wow. So that's why, that's how I started art. And the gallery that I want to make, the gallery that I want to open is, I do a lot of things. I do basketry, I do um, knitting and crochet, and I make scarves and hats, and, you know, I, I make, you know, afghans. I just make all kinds of things. And I make jewelry. I bought some jewelry here, too. But I make jewelry and, and um welcome cards and all kinds of things so that's what that's why I want to open my web my website so I can put all this on so other people can enjoy and see that you don't have to be sighted to actually enjoy the beauty of art or the beauty of life I or mean, the beauty of life because art is life yeah I collect a lot of yeah. art I mean my house is all art I'm a big yeah. art person mm -hmm. nice. artists you know life is art I mean because if you have, you know, I always tell people how I see my life is, is the world is like a big stage and everything, everything in it is, is art. Everything in it is, is beautiful and you can either touch it or smell it or, you know, and all that, which, you know, as a non-sighted person, we have insight to that. Everything feels natural for us. That's amazing. So tell us a little bit about the artwork that people can see on the Ustream video behind us. What what it the is? Cactus pieces well, up. yeah, the, there's a um, there's a picture of a cactus. Um, I don't know if you can see. There's a picture of a cactus. They can see it. Yeah, there's a picture a picture of a cactus. Now, that my auntie inspired me with that because she loved cactuses, you know. And I'm like, you know what? I, I know I can't give it to her, but this is something that I wanted to do, and I, I decided to put the the lightning and stuff because I figured you know cactus lightning and I thought that was a a nice touch which I thought was a nice touch and the other picture back there is supposed to be well actually it is it's um exotic African fishes we'll bring that up at the break yeah we'll swap them we'll out. swap them out for you yeah but the one but the the one here the cactus I decided to do like I said it's it's a uh, it's in memory of my aunt who actually raised me pr pretty much. Mm. And she loved cactuses, and I thought it would be a good touch. And I know I, I, I feel I did a great job with it. Yeah, you did. It's Gorgeous. beautiful. And what is it like mosaics? How? It, no, is, it is mosaic. It is mosaic. It is which mosaic. I, I worked with them when I was in art school or art classes. I, the, yeah, the whole thing is mosaic. Yeah. And how do you, because they're all fit together so perfect. I mean, did you Ooh. just feel and how did you choose the colors? Did somebody tell you what color they were or? No, basically um, my art teacher, her name is Rhonda. I told her what I wanted to do and I told her the colors that I wanted to use because she's such an artiste. I, you know, she also helped me with the colors. But as far as the pieces, 
I had to cut those things myself. <laughs> she would not help me do that. I had to cut them. So what we did is is that she blew up. I, I bought a picture out of a magazine into the class, and she blew it up, and she had a glue gun, and she traced that cactus, and I fill in the spots, and uh, then we, we peel the glue from around the tiles, and then we move on to the next you know um so she's there kind of guiding you yeah she was there guiding me okay which is great mm -hmm. it's a brilliant idea with the glue gun yeah she yeah. she's really you know because uh using a, a permanent marker was, <laughs> was <laughs> not gonna work since mm. i couldn't see it yes because the glue gun was my guide sure the glue the glue lines was my guide and so that gave me if i wanted to put green there that's what i would put there if i wanted to put blue there so after i've done each um, section of that I would just peel the the glue away from it so and then move on to the next and how many of these mosaics have you made I have made I have made 10 and sold five Wow Wow and where <laughs> have you been selling them I my my manager lets me uh, oh you even have a manager <laughs> okay no 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 the manager that manager building <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> I her, wish. Her people. Her yeah, people. Yeah, my That's people. Let's say yeah, your people. Yeah, my people. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, my people. But, you know, um, I get a lot of um, customers by mouth. I, I sell stuff to people, and then they tell somebody else, and somebody else tells somebody else. So, you know, I, it, God has been good, but it's, I just want to touch people all over the world. Well, you all have. Over the world. So you have. Good. Wow. That is just amazing. And all this, um, when did you start doing artwork? And do you still go and work with your art teacher? I, I don't go there as often anymore because I have a lot of my equipment at home. So I do go there when I need to grout. <laughs> <laughs> when I need to grout a picture <laughs> or I need to, you know, or need to fire um, some cl uh, fire of clay or something like that because I don't have the, the kiln at home. So. Yeah, I, there, that's a little dangerous yeah. to have a kiln at home. Yeah, so you know I, you can have a lot of mosaics and jewelry. I don't think you should be having a kiln in think, your house. I don't think I should. <laughs> Is that our break? Okay, um, we hear the music. So um, Sheila, Chris, and I are going to take a break, and um, I've just really enjoyed talking to you, Sheila and Chris both. But when we come back, you are. Because this is a beauty show, I want to bring some beauty into it. Okay. Uh, you're just dressed so amazing. I want to talk about fashion, how you choose your fashion. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because even us sighted people that always put ourselves together so <laughs> perfectly. So this is kind exactly. of very important to me. And I, I want to have my listeners okay. listen to your story about fashion and makeup and okay. things like that. Because yeah. I think it's very important. Okay. So everybody, stay tuned. This is Alina. Is Beauty Talk and more on LA Talk Live. And let's give out the website before I close this segment out. Empowertech.org. That's E M P O W E R Tech T E C H dot org. All right. So we will be right back. This is Alina's Beauty Talk and more on LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk. Meet Betsy. She is 29 years old and lives in Los Angeles. Recently, Betsy sent her father an email that brought tears of joy to his eyes. You see, Betsy suffers from autism, and this was the first email she had ever sent to anyone. Betsy is just one of the many students at Empower Tech, a nonprofit organization in Los Angeles that trains persons living with a broad range of physical, cognitive, and developmental disabilities how to use computers to do the things that so many of us take for granted. Email online banking, research, and entertainment. Through modern assistive technology, instructors at EmpowerTech help hundreds of people just like Betsy every year. They teach them the basic skills required to function independently in 21st century society. But with new state budget cuts, all of that could change. Empower Tech needs your help if it's going to continue making a difference here in our community. Please visit www.empowertech.org. That's www.empowertech.org to make a secure, 
tax-deductible contribution. And to learn more about this important community resource and to see for yourself what some of the amazing students and teachers do on a daily basis. Betsy and the 1.8 million people living with disabilities in Los Angeles County, thank you for caring enough to show your support. Bottled at the source since 1871, Mountain Valley Water is the deepest operating spring in America. This naturally alkaline water with a perfect blend of minerals has a crisp, clean taste that's twice been named best tasting water in the world. Mountain Valley Water has been served in the White House for 13 presidents, but it's also served kings, including Elvis Presley, whose only requirement on tour was two six-packs of Mountain Valley Water. Delivered to your home or office in glass bottles, Mountain Valley Water will give new customers in Southern California their first two five-gallon bottles free. For more information, call 1-800-499-9982 or visit us online at www.mountainvalleywaterla.com. Mountain Valley Water LA.com. Mountain Valley Water is the official sponsor of Here's to Your Health with Josh Lane on LA Talk Live. Walk, run, climb, play. Solgar number seven can help. Feel the difference for yourself. Solgar number 7 actually shows improvement in joint comfort within 7 days. Now you can start to get back on track fast and pursue the activities you love. Solgar number 7 is a breakthrough in joint care with no glucosamine and no chondroitin. The advanced bioactives in Solgar number 7 help to increase flexibility, mobility, range of motion and actually shows improvement within just 7 days. One capsule, once a day, is all you need. When stiff joints occasionally say no, Solgar number 7 says yes. Visit Solgar.com and learn more about Solgar number 7 today. That's www.solgar.com, www.solgar.com. Solgar number 7. Official sponsors of Here's to Your Help with Josh Lane and L.A. Talk Live. Welcome back to Lena's Beauty Talk and more okay. We're getting Sheila to get her headphones on so she can hear us. Uh, yeah, we have uh, an intern working with us this segment and he's been terrific. Right. So thanks. You know, he's doing a really good job. He's been here all summer actually with oh. us. And, um, yeah, so Richard's really taught him well. Richard is my producer and he's uh, letting him run the, show, the, the second half of the show for us today. All right. You know, so it's kind of really nice. I was a little nervous at first when he came in, but he's doing a good job, so I'm very confident now. All right. As you know, before we went to break, I wanted to come back and talk about some beauty aspects of Sheila because she is blind. She she has this beautiful dog that's sitting next to her. We're not going to have the dog stand up, but he's beautiful. Uh, you can see her artwork behind us. So she does artwork. She goes to Empower Tech. She's learned how to use the computer over the last year. She wants to set up an online gallery. But she, to me, when I first met her, when I walked in the studio, I went, oh, my God, she is dressed so beautifully. Um, her hair is beautiful. And, you know, you, we think, okay, well, how do blind people figure out what they're going to wear, how they're going to put their makeup on? I mean, that's really intriguing to me since I've been in the beauty business for oh, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to talk about that. I mean, how did you choose 
the outfit that you're wearing today. Um, I just want to talk some beauty things with you. And um, do you have a lot of friends that are, are blind? I mean, do you mostly, or, or, or is it mixed? No, I have mixed friends. I have, I have a lot of sighted friends, but I have very few blind friends. So, um, so I, I mix them. I, I enjoy being around sighted people because my friends, my sighted friends that I have, my close ones, which is probably two handfuls, but um, they have, they've been with me for such a long time that they just treat me like everybody else. You know, um, you know, they know I can't see. So if you know, if we're coming in an area I'm not familiar with, they'll let me know. Okay, you know, when you get out the car, there's this, there's that. But other than that, they uh, they treat me. They don't make me feel like. I don't belong there or my god you know I wish I could see that you know so they don't um, they don't treat me like that and I totally appreciate that because it's so hard um, with sighted people they want to treat you differently like they want to always grab your hand they want to always guide you and they want to always just fussing over you <laughs> you know? And you don't want to be fussed over. No, because it just makes me feel, it makes me feel like I have a handicap rather than a disability. And I don't like to feel that way. All right. Now, how, when you get up in the morning, how do you choose what you're going to wear? Or how do you know what matches what? I mean, do your kids help you? Do you... No, what I do at night, I put two outfits to the side because I'm real picky. I mean, I can tell you're real picky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I had to put two outfits. I laid two outfits out. But how do you know what color they are? Okay, usually when I go to the store and I buy something, I usually go by the texture. Like if I have one texture of like this right here, I'll never make a mistake between this and my leopard <laughs> because they two they feel the difference. I can feel the difference in the material. So a lot of times, like if I have two blouses that different colors but the same texture what I do is if like say one is red and one is blue I'll take a scissor and cut the label I'll slice the label on the back of the red one so when I pick it up I'll just look at the back and if the label is cut I know this is the red one and not the blue wow you know so and then other things I do I'll like in the lining of the the blouse or the skirt or whatever if I have two skirts I'll put a pin in the lining if, of the, the yellow and don't do it in, in the purple. And so, who taught you these tricks? Actually, you know, my auntie taught me those. <laughs> my auntie taught me stuff like that. You know, because she said, this is how you would be able to tell the difference between the colors. If, they, if they're textured, if the textures are, are the same. But other than that, I try not to buy things the texture of the same. But, you know, sometimes it's hard not to. Yeah. You I see, because... You're dressed just immaculate. Now, how can you decide what scarf to wear on your hair? And some days do you wear your hair down? I mean, because you I, don't always do your hair the same, I'm sure. No. Sometimes I'll just wear my hair down. Just don't put nothing in it. Just leave it out, you know. And then sometimes I'll put it in a bun. Sometimes I'll put a braid. Sometimes I'll put a clip. Sometimes I'll put a scrunchie. It depends on what I'm feeling at that time because I dress according to what I'm feeling you know so if I'm dressed if I if I'm feeling sporty I just I might wear some skinny jeans and some tennis shoes and a nice shirt so you even know what skinny jeans I mean you know <laughs> these things we don't think that you know blind people know you know it's just I mean, Chris is looking at us kind of like we're nuts. You know, he's not into the fashion end of this, but that's Skinny okay. What? Skinny what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. But to us girls, it's important. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes I feel like, you know, a little rough riding. I, ride, I, I wear the, the hip huckers, you know, low low cut hip huckers and stuff. So. Have you always been into fashion? I've, I've, I've loved clothes. I've loved clothes because... Clothes is who people are, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you see, I feel like when I'm dressing, and I can't even say that. When I dress, I dress for all blind people, you know, because every time I'm out there, I'm representing because I feel that everybody needs to know that blind people are just like everybody else. So I feel I got to dress properly and I have to dress nicely because people already think that we can't do this and we can't do that. Yeah, that's really what I wanted to get across mm -hmm. in this show. This is really really important and it's so important for me to represent all non-sighted people 
So I haven't had this conversation with Sheila, obviously. No, because you do the computer <laughs> side. But, but this has to be I, interesting I'm to curious. you to hear. I am very curious. Like when you have three kids, you have three kids, right? I have three kids. When you have three kids and you raise them, mm -hmm. I can imagine keeping track maybe of your own wardrobe. Mm -hmm. But did you like keep track of their wardrobe? Did you dress them the same? Yes, I, I, I did. So. <laughs> yes, I did. And that's why my, my girls and, and my son, they, they into clothes because... They even mm -hmm. dress, you know, I love, and that's the thing about me. Even when I, I was so happy to have my daughter when I first got pregnant and I found out having a girl, I'm like, oh my God, I can dress her just like me. And, you know, and it's going out and buying these little clothes and what color is this? Oh no, that's not going to go with that because that's purple. I don't want her to wear that, you know? <laughs> and then when you see them in and people compliment, oh my gosh, she is so beautifully dressed. And, you know, and I'm thinking, yes, I did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, Keith, uh, the the gentleman who introduced Sheila to Empower Tech, he brought in uh, one of the the toys. He's got toys. I call them. It's a, a device that actually will read to you the color mm -hmm. of what you have. So you can hold it up, and it will say, you know, black or white or pink or whatever. Oh wow! I'm still waiting to get one of those. <laughs> They're a little pricey. <laughs> yes, I'm still waiting to get one of those. All right, but you will. Mm -hmm. I know. But you've done fine all these years without it. Yeah, I have. So, I mean, it's not, I mean, I would love to have one, but it's not something that I have to have because mm -hmm. I, I do real good on my own. You know. I see. But I would like that. Now, what about <laughs> shoes? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I knew I hit a note. Sure I, did. I love Macy's, <laughs> and I and I love uh, I love to go to um, Marshalls. Marshalls have the best shoes. They do. I just bought a pair there. <gasps> Man, Marshalls and a boot. Wait till the winter time. The They're out are already. <gasps> no. They're there. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> just I, in there. I have got to go to Marshalls. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm thinking next month. <laughs> They're there already. They're starting to come in. Yes, yes. I love shoes. And and shoes are very important to your outfit. Yes. Shoes are very important to as you know. Shoes are very important to your outfit. But how when you go into Marshalls, this is a question. How do you know the difference between, well, I guess you can feel the difference between an Ugg and a leather boot mm -hmm, and a mm -hmm, suede boot. Mm -hmm. But how do you know what color they are? Somebody. I usually ask. I, usually if I go into the store, you know, a lot of times when I go into And stores, you have the dog with you, so that helps. Help me. In I mean, what? That, no. I mean, people will know if you ask oh, a question. Oh yeah, no. Usually, when I go into stores by myself, people are just tripping over themselves to come help me. So when I go into Marshalls, I usually have one of the um, uh, the people that in the Marshalls help me, and they and I ask them because I know when I go into Marshalls, I know what, what color shoe I'm looking for because I already got an outfit in mind for mm -hmm. those shoes. So I'm like, okay, I'm looking for a boot, but I need this color. Now, if you don't have this color, I'll just take this color or just can't take it no, I didn't think the dog was going to pick the shoes for you oh, that, but you know that would be nice <laughs> <laughs> you know Marshall what color is that <laughs> one way for brown two legs. <laughs> you know yes that would be nice but unfortunately he does so much he does so so much other things that I forgive him that he can't help me with my shoes <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's talk makeup because that's my expertise. Can, can I ask one more question? Sure, of I, course. I'm, I'm just curious. Like, you, yeah, you've never heard of this girl no, talk. No. So. I, <laughs> Which is very, I know, you're turning a little rad. A new facet, yeah. <laughs> but, but I do have one more question, and that is what about other people's outfits? So I'm sure you aren't familiar with most of your friends and what they wear, mm -hmm. but how do you become acquainted with their style or what they're like do they offer to you know let you feel the material on a sleeve or how does that work no if my girlfriend has a a, a blouse or something that she know i would kill for her <laughs> uh -huh. she will say girl i got a blouse it's in purple until we'll, we'll, when she comes over she'll wear it and i'll just check it out and she'll like <gasps> gotcha yeah so you know she also keep my a lot of my girlfriend keep me in tune too with the fashion okay. plus i get the ebony magazine in Braille. Ah, so, we never you know, even thought, talked about, you know, Ebony Magazine yeah, in Ebony, Braille. Yeah, uh, Ebony Magazine is in Braille, and it has the fashion section, as you know. And it tells you, you know, what the spring color is going to be, what the fall color is, and, you know, what's out and what's coming out. So this is so interesting. Never even thought about magazines in Braille. Oh, yeah. And can you get them online if you want? Oh, no, you, you couldn't feel them online, no, you but can, you could hear you them. You can hear them online, but you can get them in audio or you can get them in Braille books. I prefer Braille books because I like to read. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, audio is good, too, because, you know, you can you can relax. But, you know, if you don't practice your Braille, you just lose it. Yeah. So you need to practice mm-hmm. it. I never really thought about. OK, let's talk about makeup. OK, so you wear, you said foundation when you go out. And, and lip gloss, yes. And lip gloss. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know you don't wear eyeliner, which I can no, understand. Yeah. And do you wear, what was interesting to me, do you wear your sunglasses all the time? No, I don't wear my sunglasses all the time. But I, I have to wear them most of the time because I, the, the light and the sun and things like anything that, is, that has light and sun, it irritates my eyes and, and it runs a lot. So the, my ophthalmologist told me to wear the sunglasses to protect my eyes from running like that. So, but at home, I don't really have a lot of lights on unless my son's home and he, he, he's gotten so used to navigating in the dark. <laughs> he, he rarely turns them on unless he's cooking. Yeah. And now do you cook? I do. Yeah. Because I mean, you have a full life. You, there is nothing that you don't do. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure you exercise cause you keep oh, fit. Oh yeah. Love it. You know, I teach exercise. I'm a walking coach. I mean, that's how I've been making a living since I closed my makeup business. So what do you do for exercise? Well, I exercise five days a week and I have like on Mondays is my aerobics time. And on Tuesdays, I do. Now, do you go to a class or do you do it at home? Mm -mm, I have have most. I do go to um, Bally's, the gym, but I have a lot of my equipment at home. Like the only thing I don't have at my home is a treadmill. Okay, I'm coming over. (laughs) (laughs) That's the only thing I don't have. It's it's a treadmill, which I need. I'm trying to find a a space saver treadmill is what Mm. I'm trying to find. So once I get that, but I do, I go to, um, I go to the gym every Wednesday night and Friday um, with my girlfriend. All the six of us, we after they get off work, they pick me up and we go to the gym. We we kind of gym hop from time to time because everybody got a membership at at the Valley. So we go to different areas, different cities to go to different. And where ones. area do you live in? I live in the Baldwin Hills area. Oh, okay, so you're close to here. Mm-hmm. So that's what I do on, on Wednesdays, Wednesday evening, and Friday evening. So that's what we do. And somebody comes and picks you up. Yeah, my girlfriend picks me up. And and um and then we all meet up there and we work out for about an hour and a half and then we go to juice up <laughs> and we sit around and just talk, you know, and then we go home. Yeah, I mean you have to be fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. You have to be fit. Definitely. You know, that's you don't have to be perfect, you mm-hmm. just have to be fit and healthy oh yeah and that's that's very important to me because I eat healthy too I don't really like fast foods every now and then I might I might treat myself and have you know a small fry (laughs) you have to that's life you know but But, you know small you know yeah everything in moderation oh definitely definitely everything in moderation and you keep fit oh yes I'm talking to Chris oh you keep fit I, I keep fit yes you know I I like the home routine as well actually you know, just to have the the gear there makes it so much more accessible. I, I, if I have a gym membership, I just don't go as often as I wish I would to justify. Yeah, and that. see, I'm a gym rat. See, see I work out I, at Gold's Gym in Hollywood. I love the gear there. I don't blame you at all. Mm-hmm. I just my own my own um, sort of lifestyle. I tend to w- wake up in the morning and just work out right away. Yeah, the people I train don't will never step foot in a gym. Oh, really? Mm. They really just don't sure. like it. Sure. I mean, you have to find what you like, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. the only way you will be consistent at it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, because it is, like Chris said, you can get up and exercise, and I, I like that, too. I like the the security of my own home, and you don't have to wipe down the machines, <laughs> you, you know, after every, everybody using mm-hmm. it, you know, and stuff like that. I carry baby wipes. I mean, you know, I go through so many baby wipes. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, you know, another thing, too, though, I remember before when I used to, when I was younger, and exercise in couldn't afford the machines. I use things at home like chairs. I would do push ups on chairs, you know, put the chair up against the wall and I would, you know, sit on the edge of the couch and do leg lunges and wow. you know I that, still do that. Oh yeah, see that's wow. what I'm saying. People I walk around my house no. still acting people think I'm yeah, nuts. No. I put my foot up on exactly. the counter and <laughs> Exactly. People <laughs> think you need, you know, um um exercise equipment, but you don't need exercise equipment. No. You can use all the stuff that you have at home. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. You know, I mean I used to put water I used to put sand and water and 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 the little jugs. Uh, bleach jugs and use them as weights and 
Yeah. Wow. And uh, there's a lot of things you can do. You can le- use your chair for squats. Yeah, you, you can really, use your yeah. chair for plies. Mm-hmm. You can use your chair for yeah. a lot yep. of things. Your counter you for can pulling use, up and yeah. all kinds of good you stuff. You can use the wall. Mm-hmm. You can use the floor for push-ups. Yep. I you, mean, can, you can do a lot. You don't really need people who won't have the equipment, but you don't need equipment to no. exercise. You don't. She you really, just need creation. You could be a personal coach. Oh, you <laughs> could. You would My be a great goodness. personal coach. You are committed. <laughs> but I don't know how much time she's got left in a day (laughs) we all should live such a full full life life like that yeah you know it's just amazing see i'm i'm just i I felt that i gave myself i gave chris too much of myself (laughs) but today (laughs) today that's okay now he has a different view i I come i come in there and i'm you know some days i always a little feisty on certain days and (laughs) It, it's between you and me and the 300,000 listeners. Yeah, <laughs> you don't realize how many people just heard your story. But I'm hoping that that really inspired mm. some people. If they know somebody that, you know, has sight disabilities or any type of disabilities that Empower Tech can help, what a wonderful in- place for people to go and we'd welcome them warmly. Yeah, anybody with disabilities, you know. I mean, no matter what it is, I mean, PowerTech is the place to be. Yeah, because we only have four minutes, so we have to. Do you yes. believe how fast sure. it is? Ninety minutes. It just went very went. quickly. Wow. So let's kind of start to wrap up the show. Mm-hmm. Talk about all the benefits of PowerTech. Sure. Yeah. In addition to the classes, and I'm glad you asked because I meant to mention this, but. On Wednesday uh, afternoons from 3 o'clock till 6.30, we offer um, open access where we open up our lab and we invite the community. You know, anybody's welcome to come in and and learn more about assistive technology in general or uh, bring in a loved one who might have, you know, a specific disability that they're curious to get more information about. So uh, Wednesday afternoons. Are there any age range that can can anybody come in any age yeah, any age actually um our classes are for adults but we have done lots of work with children uh seniors i mean the whole age you know range we i we just work. wanted to get that yeah, out there in yeah. case people wondered if there was an age requirement right and and just so everyone knows we're at uh, 9100 south sepulveda boulevard so um, right next to lax real easy to find and we have free parking a big free parking lot that's right Yep, and uh, the that open access lab again is uh, three to six thirty on Wednesday afternoons. All right, and Sheila. don't forget it's on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> Say that louder. I said it's on the second floor, so if you're looking for in Power Tech, you must go up on the second floor. And you can either come up the stairs or, or the, the elevator. elevator. <laughs> Only nobody uses the elevator. <laughs> it's amazing. Do you ever use the elevator? I know ne- I have never used the elevator. Since I've, I've only been, been in the elevator once, and that never, was to help take never. some because somebody had something too heavy to carry down the sure. steps. Mm-hmm. Never. I yeah, me neither. And it's amazing. I don't think any of the people use the elevator with disabilities in this <laughs> building. <laughs> so I want you to give your final thoughts because this show really was kind of about Empower Tech and you. That's right, Sheila. Well, my final thought is that I personally, it's not even a thought. It's just I am so grateful that I am in Empower Tech. I'm so grateful to all that I've learned and the tools that Chris and that the Chris that all, all on tools that Chris, you know, gave me to be able to navigate. I just feel so more. I feel so fulfilling in my life as far as technology because I had no knowledge. So now I'm feeling like I can actually do whatever I need to do on my laptop. And again, I can't. I can't express this as much. And Power Tech is the place to be if you have any kind of disability and if you want to fulfill your life in in, in technology this is the place uh, and make some new friends that's absolutely right and wonderful friends the people there the students are all fabulous fabulous and so is the staff and all oh, the staff we you know, <laughs> we already you know blew up chris head already that's yeah right. but we didn't blow up everybody <laughs> but, but, but no, joan i love great. joan i love joan yeah, too. oh yeah i love joan oh i'm so sad I'm, you know she's not here but she's here in spirit yeah, and so we'll do another show, Good. and we'll have all of us back, um, and maybe some different guests, but you'll definitely 
come back. You were so inspiring, Sheila. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. You kind of gave me such a warm feeling inside. Oh, thank you. I didn't know what to expect of this show, uh-huh. mm-hmm. you know, and it, it's, it was so much more than I even expected it. I, I knew it would be a good show. I didn't think it would be this great yeah. of a show. I am just thrilled to have met you and have oh, you, you as a guest and Chris. So I'll have you as a thank guest you. on my show. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. I mean, this has just been a wonderful, wonderful show. So everybody, it's time for us to say goodbye. Um, I will be back next Wednesday at noon Pacific time. And actually, it's going to be another ebook show, you know, getting people inspired to write their own books and how to publish an ebook, very inexpensive on Amazon. So you can have it on your Kindle or all the new technology that you can put books on. So, everybody, have a great week. Get outside, get some exercise. Uh, and we will see you all next week, next Wednesday at noon Pacific time. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. choices in internet radio and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Talking to you, holding my heart, letting me know there was nothing that I couldn't say. And all of the times I felt lost. You've always been there, no matter the cost Beacon of light that is constantly guiding my way In your eyes, I can be anything at all In your eyes, I am beautiful
We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk.